Okay, so we're going to start with section A. Um, I'm going to try and work through this in blocks. So usually blocks of four questions for a total of 10 videos. So let's start this. Just keep in mind the logic of how I answer these questions. Obviously, if the question is quite simple, I'll move on really quickly. But just the idea of how I actually go through and dissect this question, I think is really important to understand. So first and foremost, we go through this and we know that molecule A is a biomacromolecule. And initially, I already know there's four different types of biomacromolecules. We've got nucleic acids, we've got carbohydrates, if you will, and then we've got lipids and we've got proteins. So if I'm looking at this, it says a section of molecule A shown below. They've given me the picture. And in the cell, molecule A would be what? Well, the thing is, what I want to see is what is actually molecule A. And when I actually have a look at it, I know it's a six carbon ring. And it looks like there's ether bonds or glycosidic bonds. You don't need to know ether specifically. But you know there's bonds joining these together. And it seems like there's five of them there. Or there is, rather. So with the five of them there, I'm trying to think through this. And it looks like it's glucose to me. The reason why I think it's glucose is because of the presence of this CH2OH group group there and the fact that it's got this oxygen here which actually forms that cyclical molecule. So if that's glucose, I want to go through these particular options and assess whether or not they align with the information or the picture that I've given. So if A acts as an enzyme, well, we clearly know that's incorrect on the basis that enzymes are protein. So I say goodbye. B, it contains genetic information. Well, it doesn't given that it's not nucleic acid, it's not part of DNA. We get rid of that. C, be synthesized from glucose molecules. Well, we have identified that it's glucose, so that looks like to be the winner. D, transport information from the nucleus to the cytosol. And we know that that's not the point of glucose. That's moving down the idea of tRNA, so we're going to get rid of D or messenger RNA as well. Now, if I'm here, I know that C is the answer. It's glucose. 89% of the state got this question correct. So it was a bit of a warm-up just while moving through. Question two. Now, when monomers are joined to form molecule A, which one of the following products is produced? So we're looking for products and we're looking when they're joined. So it knows, so I, what I know from that is that it's some sort of reaction. Now, if we're joining these two together, it looks like it's going to be a polysaccharide. When you join two monosaccharides together, you form a disaccharide, but you form a disaccharide plus water. The reason why you form water is because this glycosidic bond here, to make it form, you need to get rid of water H2O. And that means here that carbon dioxide, oxygen, and ATP are not correct, and it's water. This is not really that too bad. There's 68% of the state got that question correct. And so I'm thinking, look, people might have confused it more with ATP. I'm not too sure why, but they did. And we'll kick on. So going to this one, consider the following cell diagram. You can clearly see we have a eukaryotic cell here and we've got certain organelles and a process R going on here. I want to look at my question first to see what they want me to look at. So they're saying process R is an example of what? So I'm looking at process R. The first thing I take note of is the direction of the movement of molecules. I know it's things exiting the cells. So if I go through this, I first know that endocytosis is not correct because that would be coming into the cell. And I know penocytosis is incorrect too because that is a form of endocytosis, literally called drinking or cell drinking, if you will. The last two are A and B, phagocytosis and exocytosis. Phago means to consume and that's to do with phagocytes during the immune response. So I get rid of B and A is consistent with the material on the basis that the molecules are going out of the cell, it is exiting, therefore A is the answer. 93% of the state got that right, on fire. Now, question four, organelle X. So I look at organelle X and I can clearly see that that's gonna be the endoplasmic reticulum. Um, it looks like ribosomes are attached to it, so it's gonna be the rough endoplasmic reticulum. That's the mitochondria here. That'd be the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So if I'm looking at the rough endoplasmic reticulum, I'm thinking, okay, organelle X, what is it? Is the site of cellular respiration. We know that's incorrect because that would to do with mitochondria. So that'd be to do with the mitochondria. B, packages protein molecules for export from the cell. Well, we actually know that's a function of the endoplasmic reticulum because it forms those vesicles. So I'm thinking B would be correct absorbs sunlight and produces carbohydrate. Well, C we know is only to do with plant cells, one, but it's actually got nothing to do with the endoplasmic reticulum. This is when we're looking at chloroplasts. And D produces ribosomal RNA. Well, ribosomal RNA is actually a part of the ribosome itself. And therefore it's actually not consistent with the rough endoplasmic reticulum. D is incorrect. There we go for B. 90% of the state got that one correct. So still flying.